Hey everyone, the last few months I've been involved with a lot of virtual events. In this video, I put together three big tips that you could use for your next virtual event, whether it's an employee event, a customer event, or even your next training event, especially with the end of the year coming up or the start of the new year, you may be holding one. So three big tips that you're gonna use to help your company. With that, we're gonna roll the intro and we're gonna get right into it. So with that, we're gonna start with tip number one to make your event more successful. The first tip is send out a tip sheet prior to your event to your attendees. That's right, this tip sheet is gonna include a few different things. First off, it's gonna include your link for your event nice and big at the top. Let's make it easy on our attendees. The second thing it's gonna include is navigational tips about the streaming service you're using. For example, where the chat function is and how to use it or maybe how to turn off your video camera, or maybe where that mute button is. <laughs> Whatever the case may be, add those tips there to make sure your attendees are confident going into your event. The last thing, the third thing it's gonna have on that tip sheet is you're gonna include information about your event. For example, session length, um, timing of speakers, maybe are there breaks with your event? Whatever the case may be, that information is gonna be at the bottom. So tip number one is send out a tip sheet prior to your event. So tip number two is often overlooked, but tip number two is have a host for your event. It's gonna help the event run smoothly. It also gives a nice beginning and end to your sessions or speakers, a nice way to wrap up, and it gives a good familiar face for your attendees. Another nice thing about having a host is that it gives a, a great time and a great person to give reminders, to make announcements, to thank your sponsors, that's a big one, and also to give out your giveaways if you have that at your virtual event. And we are at tip number three already. Time flies when you're having fun, but tip number three is have an event customer service person. This is someone that's gonna be available throughout your event, whether it be one day, a couple hours, a three-day event, whatever the case may be, but someone designated for just that event to answer questions, either through the chat function or through email. This is gonna help your attendees feel a lot more comfortable, especially if they have a question about technology, about sessions, about scheduling, whatever the case may be. It's gonna make your attendees feel a lot more comfortable if they know there's someone that they could go to individually and not in the whole field or not chat everyone in the whole field in the whole event, okay? Also, you wanna post that person, their name, their email, and that they'll be available through chat. You wanna post that on your tip sheet, remember, tip number one, on that tip sheet that you sent out prior to the event, okay? So tip number three is have a customer service person designated for your event. There you have it, three key tips to help your next virtual event become more profitable, become more successful. I hope you use these and feel free to share this video and this email with other colleagues, other employees, other business owners, or whomever you think is running a virtual event that could use this information. Also, if you wanna find out more information about how we can help you and your company, click that read more button. I would love to be in contact with you guys. Until next time, have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.